Hey guys and welcome to another Domain Hunter Gatherer video guide. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can check over 100 million domains in a single job and just set it and forget about it so you can just come back to it whenever the job is finished. It requires minimal effort on the user's part so I'm going to show you how I have the settings first then I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, expired domains tool uh, to check these huge lists of domains. Okay, so we're going to start, we'll go to the settings. Now, to get this done as quickly as possible, I have disabled the automatic domain stats from uh, the DOM detailer settings. Now, this is for two reasons. One, I don't want to use up all of my DOM detailer credits on every one of these domains, because obviously uh, doing over 100 million uh, domain stats requests via DOM detailer or any other API is going to cost a significant amount of money. And before doing anything like that, I would first chop down uh, the domains from a huge list uh, in, into domains that I may be interested in, in buying. So uh, to save credits and time, we're going to leave that disabled. Now I'm using my, my regular 24 proxies here. Uh, they're enabled. So you don't need huge amounts of proxies to use this tool. And I'm going to set the crawling and availability threads at 500 because it's running on a VPS. It's four core and eight gigabytes, I believe. Um, so it's nothing exceptional, but it has got a decent internet connection and I'm pretty sure that it will be able to handle 500 threads. So I'm gonna leave it set at that. Now to actually set up the, the job, we're gonna to go to the expired domains tool and then hunt from websites and then set the crawl levels to zero. Setting the crawl level to zero, you're telling Domain Hunter Gatherer that you just want to check the availability of the domains in this list. You're not interested in any amount of crawling or anything like that. So at this point, we have a DOM detailer stopped. That's not gonna be getting any stats for us because we're not interested and the list is frankly quite massive. Um, and the crawl level set at zero, so we're not wasting any time on any crawling or anything of the sort. Okay, so here we now have everything set up and we just need to load in the, the domain list or lists, as you will see. So we're gonna click on create page list and then, cr sorry, crawl page list and then crawl page list from file. Now you see here I have 114 files, each of them, containing 1 million domains. Now you can see if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you see here we are, oh, we have a million domains in that file. We'll just randomly choose a bunch of files just to show you that these genuinely do have a million unique domains in each file. This started off as a, a single list that I have my own program for, for splitting them up. I'm just gonna randomly scroll to a bunch of them. See, they're all very different. That one's visibly different from the others. Uh, we'll just go to some more. I know this probably seems unnecessary, but just so there aren't any questions as to whether these lists actually have um, a million domains in them. Yes, they do. And yes, I am checking them. Okay, so we have this folder with all of these files in. I'm just gonna highlight each one of them. So that's 114 files, each with around a million domains in. The last one may have slightly fewer, but other than that, they do have 114 or so million domains between them all. So I've highlighted them all. I'm just gonna click OK, uh, sorry, open. And then it's gonna ask me if I want to split the individual files into individual jobs. So if I was to click no, it would try and load in all 114 million domains, and that would take up a huge amount of memory. It would cause um, quite a lot of extra CPU usage that is uh, you know, fairly wasted as it's going through the list every time to find a new job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, yes, I do want to split the job into uh, the files into individual jobs. So then DHG will load in each file individually check all of the domains in it, then it will spit out the the results to a folder that I choose, and then it will move on to the next one automatically. So what it's essentially doing is um, it's setting each job up for itself. Um, so I'm going to click yes, and then it will ask for an output folder, 
and I'm going to choose the folder that I'm in has an output folder that I've already set up and I'm just going to click OK. Now we can see it's loaded in the, the domains from the first file, they're coming through, you can see the, the number increasing to around a million. It will remove any invalid domains and only check domains that are actually valid and uh, possible to, to be purchased. So as you can see it's pumping through the list checking a few hundred uh, domains every second and it's just going to keep continuing on like that until it gets to the end of this file and has checked all of the domains in uh, in the list from that file. Once it's done that it will output the results of this small part of the job to the output folder that I've chosen and then it will load in the contents of the next file and then it will check all of those for availability, output the results and then move on to the next one and so on until it's completed all 114 files. So long story short this is now going to go off and check over 100 million domains for me I don't have to do a thing I can close the the remote access the server will just carry on uh, until it's all been checked so I'm going to bring the task manager over and here you can see how much uh, CPU usage we've got going on we've got 16 to 17 percent of this four core server and uh, at the minute it's way under a gigabyte I wouldn't be um, I wouldn't be surprised to see that increase to around one to one and a half gigabytes for um, checking lists of a million domains. So there we have it. All we have to do now really is just leave it to uh, continue on and finish the lists and then collect the results at the end. Um, Yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, I hope that's been helpful in some ways. I'm going to leave this running and get the results at the end. Um, if you have any video uh, suggestions or require support with anything, you know, as always, don't hesitate to get in touch. We're always happy to help. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks, bye.
Now what it'll do is it will load up the domains from the first file. See it's loading them up, it'll get to around a million and then bosh, off it goes. Now the reason it's slightly less than a million is because there may be some um, invalid domains in that list. Uh, the list of domains was taken from you know, other sources and then just collated, thrown together. But it, essentially each file has roughly a million domains. Now you can see with the 500 threads, it is managing to check a few hundred domains every second. So this is updating roughly every second and you can see this is the, the, the number of available domains that it's finding out of this list and this is the number of domains that it's checked. So once this has gone all the way across and it's checked all roughly million domains, it will then save the results to the, the output folder and then it will go on to the next file, load that in, do the same again. It will churn through the list, checking them all for availability and then output, outputting the file to uh, the output folder. So I'm going to bring the, the task manager up now and you can see we have um, the 500 threads are using up uh, less than one of the cores see here in the performance we have four virtual processors and it's using up less than a quarter of them so it roughly a single core and it's currently using less than a gigabyte you'll find where um, the jobs have continued on it probably will use up slightly more memory because it's having to keep track of how many domains are available and also uh, if the list has got lots of large domains in it then it's going to obviously use up more memory storing those domains but DHG won't have a problem at all loading in lists of a million domains at a time and it will easily get through them quite quickly you see we've already checked 42,000 this is all in real time by the way it's already checked 42,000 in the last minute or two and so this job will complete faster than maybe you, you thought so there we have it. It's quite simple. You just have to remember the, the few basics of setting the crawl levels to zero, having a, a good high um, crawling and availability threads to make sure everything runs quite quickly and to temporarily disable the automatic domain stats from uh, DOM detailer. So there you have it. You can load in as many files as you want. Um, you can load in larger files than a million domains, but I just find after that they get sort of excessively large and, and start to add a lot more memory usage. So I feel a million domains in a file is, uh, is a good compromise and, and it does make things quite quick and simple to use. So I'll leave this running for a minute or for let's say 10 minutes and I'll come back and we can see how well it's done. Right. We need to clear the area. Okay. Right. He'll be running up as soon as we. Oh, yeah. 